good morning welcome back to the channel today i thought i'd do a spend the day with me vlog day in the life spend the day what are we calling these i've just got ready we're gonna go into town i uh, need to get a few bits and bobs i want to go to primark i actually went to primark when i was in coventry seeing harry styles and I've still got the bag there. <laughs> so whatever I get today, we'll mash it together and we'll do some sort of little mini haul in this vlog. Um, Cause I did get a few bits. Um, I just haven't, oh, don't even look over there. I need to tidy up. I still need to unpack my suitcase. Just, just, you know, it'll all get done later. It's just that this has just been a, throw it in here, deal with it later later needs to come around and I need to sort it all out but it will get sorted um so yeah we're gonna go to Primark uh, I need to go to Boots to like replenish makeup everything is just like coming to an end like every like my powder touching pan my bronzer my bronzer touching pan <laughs> like everything is just needs sorting out I need to get some um new shampoo uh just some like odds and sods you know so i'm gonna go to boots i do want to go to marks and spencer because i i keep looking at this bag you may have seen it in my last marks and spencer come shop with me but it's like a beach bag not beach bag like a straw bag and i didn't realize it was a dupe for a very very expensive bag i'm not i'm gonna butcher the name of the brand lowry lowry i'll put it on the screen but there was a woman in the hairdressers next to me and she had this designer bag and it was perched on the top and I kept looking at it and I'm like, that's really lovely, that's really lovely. <laughs> and um, I Googled it, £400 for this bag. I was like, um, Googled dupe and this Marks and Spencer one came up, which is the one that was in the come shop with me that I did. I had no idea. I kind of glanced at it at the time and thought that's nice but actually seeing this bag in person the designer one I was like that's lovely so I want to go and have a look at it again and see if I really really like it um so yeah so come with us to the shops oh I need to take a parcel back to um Asda uh come home sort out and then I think the plan is we're going to have a barbecue the weather is so nice the weather's turned now it's sunny everyone's happy the sun's out and um yeah so that's the plan so right I need to get dressed first of all right I am ready to go just put some oh perfume on oh do I go old school do I go old school remember that no I think I'm just going to put this one on my Issy Mayaki because it smells like summer <laughs> I'm ready here is what I'm wearing my nobody's child dress and then gone for a little circular straw bag there we go just go and put my sandals on but let's go shopping just in H&M. How nice is this dress? That's really nice. I've got both of these dresses. They do this print as well now. That's nice. Oh, 
well, we are back from running some errands, going around the shops and stuff. I, I didn't get the bag. I didn't get the bag in M&S. I wasn't sure about it. When I put it against me, I just thought it was too small. And the bigger bag was only six pound more, or six pound 50 more. And I thought, I didn't, I didn't really like it. <laughs> when I actually had it, I thought, no, the designer one is much nicer, but I'm not spending 400 pound on a little wicker bag. So um, that's that, didn't get that, but did, oh my God, did get a few bits. The old, the old Harry Styles tote bag is coming in use. Uh, so we've got loads of things from um, Boots. Uh, Chris went to Poundland, I bought some. I, I presume he's got this for the barbecue from Poundland. I don't even know, he went to Poundland whilst I was in M&S, so I don't even know what else he's bought. Um, oh, cashew nuts, ibuprofen, you know. Essentials, essentials from Poundland. Uh, I did buy a couple of bits in Primark, but I'll share those with you with the other couple of bits upstairs when I go in and actually tidy up up there which will be in a minute. And then, oh, sit down. What did we get from Boots? Let's, let's have a little looky and see what we got. Got some of the um, face wipes. I know they're bad, but they're handy sometimes, especially when you're away. Uh, Chris got some razors. Oh, oh. <laughs> Chris is mowing the grass. He's got a new strimmer that he's gonna use <laughs> today. Uh, what else? Uh, Chris got some of the Head & Shoulders Derma Pro Scalp Care Shampoo. Got two of those, must have been, must have been on offer. Um, we have a Nivea Ferment deodorant, black and white invisible. Um, a Gillette shaving gel. Is this interesting to you? <laughs> and then I got some shampoo, so it was three for two. I really like the Jean Fri Jean, he was, he's French now, John <laughs> Frieda shampoo. So I like the Go Blonder, but I got three different ones because it was three for two. So I got a Go Blonder shampoo. I still have some of the other Go Blonder conditioner anyway. Uh, I got a moisturizing shampoo because I thought it'd be nice for the hair. And then I got a different conditioner. I got a new deep sea hydration conditioner. Intense moisture surge erases 100% of damage. It's got seaweed in it. So I got one of those. Uh, and then I got some makeup bits, but it's all, they're not, nothing very exciting. I just replenished my powder my bronzer from collection uh, i got a new like brow pencil although i'm gonna have them um tinted in a week or so uh i am doing a video actually of my microblading like after the top up and stuff i'm still i'm so happy with them uh and then i got a concealer this this is all from collection. I really like collection. <laughs> and then I got a new blush stick. These looks quite interesting. Let's open it up and show you. So it's a blusher. It's like a cream. Oh my god, is it going to open? Cream blusher in a stick. And then because I spent over seven pound, I got a free lash gel. Lash gel. Lash and brow mascara. So I got a free one of those. And that's it. That's what we got from Boots. Um, right, Chris is now gonna do the grass. Let's put all this back in the bag and allocate it into its rightful places. I'm gonna go upstairs, tidy up the room, uh, and I'll show you the bits that I got from Primark then. Now, question. Am I being too premature packing jumpers away? Are we suddenly going to be struck down with snow in the next couple of weeks or is summer here? I hope summer's here because I want summer to be here. Clothing is summer ready but I needed to pack loads of jumpers away so tidied, sorted some clothes out. Actually I need to sort some other summer bits out that I've got um, vacuum packed like old summer dresses like favourites so I'll do that as well in a minute. I'm having a, a bit of a sorting couple of hours. Chris is in the garden doing his 
doing his thing and I'm sorting up here but I'm parched okay round two got my lemon Fanta got my stuff that was all vacuum packed but before I begin that shall I show you what I got from Primark well twice <laughs> okay right mm -mm -mm. let me show you what I got from Primark let's start with what I got from Coventry now Coventry Primark has a self-serve checkout area I actually took a little bit of footage on my phone so I'll insert it as I'm talking but I've not seen that before in Primark are they like rolling it out into other shops because the little tiny Primark that I went to today doesn't have that um are they just putting it in the bigger stores I have no idea um but anyway from Coventry I bought the following I bought a new tanning mitt to help apply my tan badly as I normally do um that was £4.50 for that no €4.50 so that would have been the same hang on hang on that was three fifty. obviously they put euros on there because you've got pennies haven't you in Ireland so that was three fifty. um oh I bought it's gonna make too much noise rustling isn't it I bought a shirt I bought a white throw on shirt this was in like the beachwear section so these are like to have over swimming costumes and stuff but I thought this would be really nice over a black strapless dress like tied up that was that was like the image that I had anyway that was eight pounds I'm gonna try that on in a minute with with my black dress and see see if that works but yeah they had these in white and they also had black ones as well this bag is so noisy hang on I'm just going to take everything out first and then I'll then I'll show you because it's so very noisy that's better right you haven't got me rustling in and out of the bag so I got a couple of these niacinamide face masks let me just check I did get the face masks they do the eye patches as well but I just wanted to check I didn't pick up the wrong thing so yeah I got two of those they were pound fifty each I got a new headband look at this gorgeous powder blue or baby blue headband how nice is that that was £2.50 for this um, I picked up some hair clips I like these ones I like this green one the most um, so they were £3.50 for some hair grips I got uh, a pair of hoopy earrings for a pound I love me a hoopy earring as you can see but these ones have got like the they're like indented indented is that the word embossed they've got a pattern uh, so they were a pound <laughs> I also picked up another pair of earrings these were three pound fifty but I really like them uh, using recycled metal but how pretty are those I don't know if you can see actually the Sun is now <laughs> really in the way they're just like little circular really delicate I really like those so I got those um obligatory sunnies I also bought another pair of sunnies today actually <laughs> but I got I got someone else in Coventry as well but we just get the dust off them hang on um let's take these ones thought that, that makes a difference but look at these love 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 so these were three pound fifty a lot of things seem to be like £3.50 in Primark right now uh, and then the last thing that I got from Coventry from their homeware section was a little glass tub glass Tupperware tub but look how pretty it is so they did this is the medium and they had a large and a small the large one was £5.50 and I'm kind of gutted that I didn't get the large one now as well this with all your salady bits in on the table how pretty uh, and then you can store it and it keeps it fresh in the fridge really love that so that's what I got from Coventry and then today I didn't get a great deal today but I got a few bits so let me take them all out again otherwise it's going to be annoying okay right uh first thing is I'm going to say the c word I've started I started buying for Christmas so I saw these in there look it's a feather 
pen but they had them in the different colors like the house colors so i got a gryffindor <laughs> pen one pound fifty so i got that for one of my goddaughters let's hope she's not watching um <laughs> so i got that then i got one of these um it's like a vest top but not it's like a three-quarter top but it basically it's to go under dresses um it's a really stretchy material and i got it in an extra large and it was four pounds just a nice strappy strappy top to go underneath dresses they did this in black they also had like a lilac one as well so i thought maybe the lilac but just stuck to white for now uh another pair of glasses three pound fifty just dust them off oh i do like a big pair of glasses like plain ish even though i got ones that were like ombre but plain ish big glasses are my thing so i got some black glasses i got some more beauty blenders two pack for one pound fifty and then so i didn't get the bag from marks and spencer but i did buy a bag from primark and it was six pounds and it's this little bag I just thought this was so handy as a crossbody bag for when I'm going out, when I'm just out and about and all I need is my phone, my purse and a lip gloss or something or maybe a mini perfume. I'm just going to have it crossbody like this. How nice is that? I like the design as well. It's like, um, like a summer straw bag. It's just the right size i really like that i don't know if they did any other colors i only saw the black and it's got like a little bit of a gold chain but yeah i really like me not with this dress but with other dresses that i've got this will go really well so i'm pleased with that so that's everything that i got from primark these are also old from primark they still sell these ones actually um so that's everything that i got from primark now i just need to find homes for everything, sort my dresses, and then we're gonna have a barbecue tonight. It's barbecue time. So I just had a little try on session of the shirt with a black dress. I quite like it. What do we think? What do we think? Black dress, all tied up, stopped me from burning if the sun is very hot i've put the little the little primark bag with it i quite like it My little sandals what do we think what do we think i think it's i think it's a look kind of i don't have a waist i'm very like flat i'm all belly i'm all bum you guys know <laughs> but does this cut me off or does it sort of taper me in a bit what do you what do you think what do we think i mean i quite like it i quite like it hmm or does it just look better loose i don't think i like it loose no i think i prefer it i prefer it tied up i don't know i don't know <laughs> right time to put these in the washing machine you want to help me charlie do you want to help? No. No, you're going back outside. Yeah. I don't blame you. Go and sit on the furniture outside. Go on. Live your best life. You know, I said I had those dresses from H&M in the black and the blue. Here they are. Gonna get washed for summer. Beep, beep, beep. Spin. Spin. Temperature. Take it out. 40. Washing, he's there. <laughs> You're funny. Ready? Are you ready? Should we put the washing out? Let's go then. Come on then. Let's go. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> yes, I know where to put it. Thank you.
So Chris has cracked open the outdoor kitchen. We are having a barbecue tonight for dinner. It's so nice to eat outside. Now the weather has become a lot nicer every night. We have our dinner outside, it's been lovely. Uh, you may notice also over here in the corner, we've got an air fryer. I was actually sent this air fryer from a company called Altenic and it is a Che Free AFW01 air fryer. So it's a single drawer air fryer, but there's two things that set this apart from all other air fryers. It has got uh, a view cook window, which means that you can see your food cooking without opening the drawer and letting the heat escape from it. Uh, and also, it's got a toaster rack. You can make toast in here. I'm yet to do that yet. I might do that in another vlog. But we have been using this air fryer outside when we've been barbecuing. And when we had friends over, we cooked a load of sausages in there, which is what we're gonna do tonight. And it's just perfect. We had sausages in there, we had some chicken wings because when like the barbecue is full of like burgers, bacon, halloumi, that kind of thing, you want something else to cook other bits in. And that's why we decided to put one out here as well. It just goes with our outdoor kitchen. Obviously you can use this indoor as well, <laughs> but um, we just decided to have it on our outdoor kitchen and it just works really well. I will show you it in action later on when Chris has started cooking um, but I actually have a discount code which they have given to me to share with you so I'll pop it on the screen now and I'll also link it below and it cleans up lovely we've used this quite a few times already and you would not even think that has been used has just gone whoosh. I think it's because we spent a lot of time outside after dinner and then obviously we took Charlie for a walk and then we went back outside and had a cup of tea um, and played cards which was lovely and now I'm just prepping my lunch for tomorrow but I'm going to have leftovers. Leftovers for lunch. Always like a leftover lunch. I put way too much onion <laughs> in this salad earlier. It reeks. I love a bit of onion but not that much. There, go. there is my lunch for tomorrow, my very healthy lunch. I am trying to make healthier choices. Um, yeah, for my own health, well-being. I've kind of pratted around far too long, just brushing it under the carpet, but I need, I need to lose some weight. I need to lose the weight that I've put on since since lockdown, since the whole perimenopause thing. I just, I need I need to do something. And so I don't really like talking about weight on here because I know it triggers a lot of people, but um, maybe I'll talk about it in another video or something, uh, perhaps, or maybe not. Like I say, it's quite triggering for a lot of people, but I'm trying to make healthier choices. Uh, I'm actually going to be joining the gym next week as well um just just in an effort to move my body more i always enjoyed the gym and and part of a membership you can do the classes as well and they do spinning which i love they do clubber size which looks really cool and zumba circuits that kind of thing oh, i don't think i'll really enjoy the circuits but <laughs> um i know that the spinning and the clubber size look really good. So yeah, I mean, I don't know why I felt the need to mention it, but um, I don't know, I just feel like it, it's noticeable. It's noticeable that I've put on a substantial amount of weight and I want to try and make steps to make a change now. I've just, I 
fannied about for far too long just trying to embrace myself love the skin that i'm in and i do i do to a certain extent but there are some times where i'm like no and i need to do it for my health more than anything um i'm still an advocate for body positivity whatever size you are but sometimes you just need to do things for you don't you so yeah anyway right lunch is prepped i'm gonna go and have a bath <sighs> that was a much much needed bath i'm just gonna do a bit of skincare put my pajamas on and go to bed ready for work tomorrow i hope you've enjoyed this spend the day with me it's been a little bit of a different type of vlog i have just ordered um davina mccall's book is that going to focus menopausing quite a few of you recommended this book to me so i'll be interested to see what that's like so hopefully it'll arrive tomorrow or the next day maybe tomorrow no, it's probably a bit late for tomorrow um so have a good read of that and then i do i do plan to do a video talking about my perimenopause symptoms and all that kind of stuff so it's it'll be coming uh, anyway right i'm gonna love you and leave you because i need to put my pajamas on i need to put that washing away it was clear and I need to put that away and um yeah go to bed so thanks for watching take care have a lovely rest of your week weekend and i will see you guys in the next one